Now it might take a few seconds, but you want to wait till they go ahead and expand it. You know what the best part about having a thriving YouTube channel with over 200 subscribers is? It's getting to make and try many different types of food. And once in a while, I even get to teach people about my Mexican heritage too. On a recent episode, we made mango on a stick from Mexico, and it was pretty delicious. Mm. So I knew it was just a matter of time before I got to try another Mexican snack I've never eaten before. I know, with this big stomach right here, you'd think I've eaten them all, right? So on today's episode, I decided that we were gonna try a fried crunchy snack that some people refer to as Mexican wagon wheels. But first, my overbearing mother had to give her two cents on the whole situation. Why are you always eating junk food? Why don't you start eating healthier? When are you gonna start exercising? <laughs> So then I decided to cancel the episode, thinking that my health was more important than some silly YouTube channel. Oh, and then I decided to start a really intense workout regimen that I knew I couldn't handle. <laughs> On day two of my new workout routine, I got really exhausted and took a water break. And I was just thinking about how much fun it would have been to teach people about Mexican wagon wheels. But I remembered that my health was more important. And I'm sure if my subscribers wanted to know that badly about Mexican wagon wheels, I'm sure there's some other Mexican YouTuber that could teach them about it. But then I remembered something that a former classmate told me once. He just happened to be Mexican, too. You know, Keith? I don't see you as Mexican. Oh, we're doing it now. I am so relieved I don't have to continue that workout. <laughs> Before we make our Mexican wagon wheels, let me give you a little background info. First, this is what I need you to go buy. Some people call them duros, some people call them duritos. We're gonna make things simple and we're gonna call them Mexican wagon wheels. Now I can already hear some of my fellow Mexican people screaming at the screen right now. Why don't you go and teach it on? <laughs> First of all, don't yell. Second of all, that is a valid question. See, when I think of chicharron, I think of Mexican pork rinds. And while some people do call the cooked version of these chicharron, these are made of wheat, not pork skins. So let's not confuse the two. But you know, I am getting sick and tired of just talking about these things. So without any further ado, let's make some Mexican wagon wheels. Yeah, let's cook them. To make Mexican wagon wheels, you'll need the following. Some Mexican wagon wheels. Find them at the Mexican store or online. Just remember, they may go under other different names like we mentioned earlier. Some cooking oil, Valentina salsa, and some lime juice. First, pour some oil into a pot. You'll need just enough oil to soak however many wheels you'll be frying. Then wait till the oil hits somewhere between 350 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a thermometer, the wooden spoon test should work or the cube of bread test, <sighs> or the grain of rice test. Hell, throw in a damn chicken nugget in the pot, or the kernel of corn. Damn it, can we get to the point of this video? We keep stretching it. When the oil's finally hot, which, damn, it took us long enough to figure that out, go ahead and throw those wheels into the pot. Make sure they're all evenly covered in the hot oil. Now, it might take a few seconds, but you want to wait till they go ahead and expand. <laughs> After you regain your composure, just cook them till they've all gotten a chance to expand and change from a dark orange to a pale yellow color. I'm told Mexican wagon wheels can burn easily, so you don't want to overcook them. Then take them out of the pot. Now that the wheels are cooked, you could opt to put some cinnamon and sugar on them. But in this case, we're going to put some Valentina salsa and lime juice on top. And there you go. Mexican wagon wheels just like you find on the streets of Mexico. Nice, hot, and crispy. He's tried looking for these on the streets of the town he lives in. But let's just say, him making them himself was the quicker option. All right, very good. It's gonna be my first time trying these. 75% Mexican, yet I've never tried these. I know, that's quite a big deal, isn't it? I'd also like to thank my mother for being my uh, assistant uh, in this process. Thanks, Mom. The tables have turned. All right, so these are right off the fryer. Right, let me just put a little lime juice on here. And then of course we're gonna put the Valentina salsa. So that's what it looks like. There you go. All right, so this is my first time ever trying these. Get that lion sound effect ready. <laughs> not bad. You know, after you put the lime juice and the Valentina salsa on it, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't taste that much different than a regular pork chicharron. Also to non-Spanish speakers, pork rinds. <laughs> that's not bad, really. You know, they say uh, sounds and uh, smells can uh, take you back to different parts of your life, but... 
just a taste of this. Kind of just reminds me of going to the Mexican store as a kid. One of the taco places with my family. Oh. Not bad. You want some, Dad? What do you think, Mom? Good? Does it bring you back? Oh. Alright, this is already my second batch right here. And of course, some more Valentina salsa on top of here. You know, sometimes I get kind of self-conscious. Sometimes I think we need a food photographer, but <laughs> that costs money. I don't know, maybe we should get merchandise. Are you tired of seeing Keith's glasses fog up every single time he makes a video? Yes! Uh -huh. right. Yes! Introducing glasses, anti-fog spray. Tell Keith. He should buy it. But does it get rid of light glare? <laughs> All right, we're gonna let Keith enjoy his Mexican wagon wheels, but let's take a look at those results. Honestly, I found Mexican wagon wheels to be delicious. They may just be crunchy pellets of wheat flour, but the lime juice and Valentina salsa really make them taste great. Not to mention a nice meatless alternative to pork rinds or chicharron as they say in Mexico. Watching them cook is only part of the fun. And while I myself don't see this as any way to replace pork chicharron, I could definitely see myself eating these again. I definitely recommend Mexican wagon wheels, and that is the Wrangles angle on that one. Right now, I'd like to take the time and give a shout out to my friend and co-worker, Joe B. Now, Joe's actually kind of a big deal around these parts. He's a lot better looking than me, not to mention stronger, healthier, and smart. Sam, what are you holding in your hand? Cue cards. Sam, the show doesn't even use cue cards! What? That's not what your friend Ethan said. He dropped them Ethan. off earlier and told me to use them. Ethan. For those of you that don't know, Ethan's also my friend, and he's also my co-worker, and he also thinks he's a real comedian. Well, regardless, hi Joey and hi Ethan. We're gonna have a very serious talk next time I see you at work. It's not funny. Well, regardless, don't forget we got more videos for you to watch on YouTube and Facebook. Remember, either way, it's dot com slash wranglesangle. And when you're there, don't forget to hit subscribe, because we've got more videos for you on the way, including more food videos, because I know a lot of people love it when I talk about food. It's like I'm a food channel in denial at this point. But before we go, before you watch more of my videos, I definitely hope you enjoyed learning about Mexican wagon wheels. I got more Mexican culture themed videos for you in the works. Let's take a look and see what we got coming. Keith makes a quesadilla. That should be a good one. Keith does a deep dive into Mexican soap operas. Really looking forward to that one. And Keith crosses the US-Mexico border. Let's take a look at that one. We'll see you next time, folks. Take it easy. Keith goes to the US-Mexico border. Uh, uh. Oh, hi. This is uh, Keith and I'm coming to you from the US-Mexico border. And oh man, it's hot out here. Oh man. I even got my empty bottle of water and... Oh, I'm trying to film something! disqualified.